the little baby we talked about at Christmas. That's a nice story. Maybe that's all people would get and understand is this baby we talked about a king. But God's only son. God's only son. The worst of us in God's economy. Grace. He decreed that. That's the price of His beloved. The blood of Jesus. I tell you what, there is a, when we look at the law, we look at grace. Jesus says no, no um, jot or tittle. No dotting of an eye or dashing across of the teeth that's going to fall away. That law is going to remain forever. But that grace will remain forever and it will sustain us into glory. For by grace ye are saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. That's one thing we've got to understand. It's a great gift. And law and grace, one for grace, we wouldn't be getting home. We wouldn't have a place to be. We wouldn't have a future. And we wouldn't have an eternity with our Lord. So tonight, we think uh, in our prayers and all that, just focus in on that. Focus in on our personal evangelism. You know, how we approach people with the Gospel. How we approach the ones that are unapproachable. The ones that feel hated, rejected. And we know one thing, they're in sin just like we were. But they can be ransomed. They can be transformed. They can be redeemed. Because that plan has been put in place for the worst of them. And I'm right in there with the worst of them. We celebrate that tonight in song as we close but also with a commitment that we're going to share that grace this week. Let's pray. Father, we praise You. We thank You. We're, we're studying tonight something that's overwhelming for human words to convey. We know it's got to be Your Holy Spirit that fully brings that message that examines our hearts. If we open our hearts, there could be corruption, vulgarities, sin. It will open and be true. And the Lord, you set your law. And it puts us in our place as our schoolmaster. Arrogant people like the rich ruler. Though, they, though in society they might be one of the best of us, they'll walk away. But to the humble, you come to. They open their hearts, which is always a risky proposition with anyone but you. And you examine it, and you clean, and you wash that with your own blood. Our sin was counted paid for in the cross where that law was fulfilled but that grace reigns and that grace is what saves us that we can't boast because the scripture says we boast in you Lord tonight as we sing this song this give us a spirit of worship to boast in you and also to those who need that message that we don't give it a cheap salvation just by flipping hands and that this gospel message will be so strong if we can minister to people just to like the Philippian jailer that they'll be asking what must I do to be saved because they can see the reality of the gospel in our lives and in these area churches we pray for tonight Lord thank you for your word help us to understand that we live in grace though men are convicted by the law and that our words and deeds will share that thank you for this night thank you for this time of worship in Jesus saving name I pray amen